everyone. My name is Lubna Ali and I'm going to introduce an idea to enhance the utilization of open educational resources and support converting the already existing educational materials to OER. When talking about OER cycle, we can notice the activity of two different groups. The OER community in blue, which normally create, use, edit, and distribute the OER, and the education community in orange, which usually search, edit, and use the materials. The idea from Open Educational Resources Movement is to support and encourage them by creating their OER materials so that they will be involved in the creation and the distribution process. In this talk, we will concentrate mainly on the creation process. There are actually different tools or software that could be used for creating the open resources from the scratch, and most of them are surely known to most of you. For example, we can use Google Doc to create text and SoundCloud for producing audios. For text tables and slides, we could use Microsoft Office or OpenOffice, as known to most of you. And of course, for videos, graphics, and other resources, there are also a good collection of tools to be used. However, what about the huge amount of already produced and well-tested materials? Couldn't this be utilized and converted to open educational resources and instead of producing new content from the scratch? To answer this question, we have started developing a new tool which supports converting the existing and already produced non-OER materials to OER with as much automation as possible. This means that the user will be involved to some extent in making some decisions when choosing, for example, the appropriate resource or the suitable license. Currently, we have the first prototype, which includes the basic functionalities of the tool, which I would like to introduce shortly in the upcoming slides so that you have an idea about this tool. Firstly, the user selects the file he or she wants to convert to OER. After selecting the file, all images will be listed in the left column, as can be seen in this slide. After that, the user can choose the image he wants to replace and try to search for another OER image in the online portals. At this stage, the tool supports searching in Flickr and CC image search. After that, a set of found images are displayed in the middle column and the user can decide which image to choose. The chosen image will be displayed with a start license in the right column, as can be seen here. By clicking the Replace button and then Save File button, the new OER image will replace the old one, and the new slide set will appear, as can be shown here. The found image will get a reference number, which will be listed with a source and license information at the end of the slide set. In addition to that, a new slide will be added in order to license the whole document, as can be seen here. We are still at the early stages of the development process and working currently to extend the functionality of the tool so that we can deal with different format types in addition to PowerPoint files, such as, for example, Word or OpenOffice, and to be able to search in different OER portals, not only in Flickr or CC image search. We would like also to extend the search functionality to retrieve different types of licenses, such as CC and CC by SA, in addition, of course, to CC0. Finally, we want to test the tool with OER interested people and OER community. Hope you enjoyed this topic. Thank you very much for your attention. If you're interested to know more about the idea, please feel free to contact me. Thanks a lot. Thank you.